get yourself a cup of coffee and a crochet hook and some yarn because today I'm going to be showing you step by step in real time how to crochet the motifs that you will need to make for the boho baby blanket pattern. I'm going to crochet along with you through this motif pattern starting with row one. So for row one, you want to chain two. And in the second chain from hook, so this is going to be the second chain from hook. This is the first chain from hook. This is the second chain from hook. You're going to crochet three single crochets. One single crochet, two single crochets, three single crochets. Chain one and turn. And that is row one. Moving on to row two. We're going to work a single crochet back loop only in the first stitch. So for the single crochet back loop only, only stick your hook through the back loop. For a regular crochet, you would stick your hook through both the loops. But for a single crochet back loop only, just to stick your hook through the back loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So you know, just a normal single crochet, it's just that we're only crocheting into the back loop. In the next stitch, we're going to work three single crochet back loop only into that same stitch. So one, two, three. And in the very last stitch, just work one single crochet back loop only. Chain one and turn. For row three, we're going to work a single crochet back loop only in each of the first two stitches. And in the third stitch, we're going to work three single crochet back loop only. One. two, three. Now work a single crochet back loop only in each of the remaining two stitches. Chain one and turn. Row four. This is the row that is going to have the cots. Starting with the single crochet, we're going to alternate single crochets and picots in the first three stitches. So work one single crochet into that first stitch. Now we're going to work our first picot. Insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through one loop, chain three, one, two, three, yarn over, and pull through two loops. That is your first picot. It won't look right until you work the next stitch, which is a single crochet. And now, as you can see, it pops out and it looks like a cute little, almost like a little bobble. In the fourth stitch, we're gonna work three stitches. We're going to work a picot, a single crochet, and another picot. So insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through loop, chain three, yarn over and pull through two loops. So that's your picot. Now we're going to work a single crochet. And one more picot into that same stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one loop, chain three, Yarn over, pull through two loops. In the next three stitches, we're going to alternate single crochets and picots, starting with a single crochet in that first stitch. And in the next stitch, we're going to work a picot. Insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through loop, chain three, one, two, three, yarn over, and pull through two loops. And in the last stitch, work a single crochet. 
Chain one and turn. And this is what it should be looking like. For row five, we're going to be returning to our single crochet back loop onlys. So work the single crochet back loop onlys into those first four stitches. And in that fifth stitch, we're gonna work three single crochet back loop only. There's your first single crochet back loop only. The second single crochet back loop only. Third single crochet back loop only. Fourth single crochet back loop only. And now into this fifth stitch, we're going to work three single crochet back loop only. So all into the same stitch. There's one single crochet back loop only, two single crochet back loop only, and three single crochet back loop only. Now to end these remaining four stitches, we're going to work a single crochet back loop only into each of them, just as we did in the first four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And now chain one, enter. For row six, we're going to work a single crochet back loop only into each of the first five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now into the sixth stitch, we're going to work three single crochet back loop only, all into that same stitch. So one, two, and three. Now you should have five stitches remaining. We're going to work a single crochet back loop only into each of them. One, two, three, four, and five. Now chain one and turn. Onto row seven, we're going to work a single crochet back loop only into each of the first six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six and in that seventh stitch you're going to work three single crochet back loop back loop only one two and three now in the remaining six stitches we're going to work a single crochet back loop only into each of them one two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one and turn. Row eight. So with row eight, we are back to our single crochets and picots. We're going to alternate single crochets and picots for the first seven stitches. So in that first stitch, work one single crochet. In the next stitch, work a picot. Now 
and then a single crochet. And a picot. And a single crochet. So we'll count here. We have one, two, three, four, five. We need a couple more stitches. So our next one is a picot. And one more single crochet in the next stitch. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in our eighth stitch, we're going to work a picot, a single crochet, and another picot. There's one picot. And in that same stitch, work a single crochet. And again into that same stitch, work another picot. Now in the next stitch, work a single crochet. And we're going to go back to alternating our single crochets and picots for the remaining stitches. So there's a single crochet. In the following stitch, work a picot. And in the next stitch, a single crochet. And now a picot. And now a single crochet. And one more picot. And then ending the row on a single crochet. You want to always end with a single crochet on these picot rows. If you ever end with a picot, you know that you messed up some more. Chain one and turn. Row nine. We are back to working our single crochet back loop onlys. We're going to work a single crochet back loop only into each of the first eight stitches here. I hope you're seeing the pattern develop. You can basically subtract one from the row you are working, and that is the amount of stitches you will go up with single crochet back loop onlys until you reach the top stitch which is like the top of the triangle. And in that top stitch, you're going to work three stitches. So let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect, so in our ninth stitch, because it's row nine, we're going to work three single crochet back loop only. One, two, three. Now we should have eight stitches remaining and we're going to work one single crochet back loop only into each of the remaining eight stitches. So we've worked two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is what it should be looking like. Chain one and turn. Row 10, we're going to work a single crochet back loop only into each of the first nine stitches. One, two, 
three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and in that tenth stitch, we're going to work three single crochet back loop only. You know it's going to be the 10th stitch that we work the three single crochet back loop only because it is row 10. And in these last nine stitches, we're going to work one single crochet back loop only. One, two, three. four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Chain one and turn. Row 11, we're going to work a single crochet back loop only into each of the first 10 stitches. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now in this eleventh stitch, we're going to work three single crochet back loop only. Again, you see that that eleventh stitch corresponds to it being row eleven. So one and two and three single crochet back loop only all into that 11th stitch. Now we should have 10 stitches remaining over on the side and we're going to work one single crochet back loop only into each of those remaining 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Chain one and turn. On to row 12, we are going to be returning to alternating our single crochets and picots. So we're going to alternate single crochet and picot for the first 11 stitches, and in the 12th stitch, we are going to work a picot, a single crochet, and a picot. So in that first stitch, single crochet. In the second stitch, work a picot. In the third stitch, a single crochet, a picot in the next stitch, now a single crochet, picot, A single crochet, a picot, a single crochet, a 
Avocat. A single crochet. Now you can see we've made it to the top of the triangle, so that should be the 12th stitch. But let's make sure. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Perfect. So in this 12th stitch, we're going to work up a cot. A single crochet. and a picot all into that same stitch. And now we should have 11 stitches remaining. We're going to alternate single crochet and picot. So single crochet, in the next stitch a picot. And in the next stitch, a single crochet and a picot. A single crochet, a picot. A single crochet, a picot, a single crochet, a picot. And in that last stitch, a single crochet. Chain one and turn. For row 13, we are returning to our single crochet back loop onlys. So we're going to work 12 single crochet back loop onlys. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Let's count to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So in that 13th stitch, we're going to work three single crochet back loop onlys. One, two, and three. We should have 12 stitches remaining. We're going to work a single crochet back loop only into each of them. One, two, three. If you guys don't learn anything else from this video, you'll learn how to count. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve.
chain one and turn row 14 so more single crochet back loop onlys we're going to work a single crochet back loop only into each of the first 13 stitches so one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, and 13. In the 14th stitch, we're going to work three single crochet back loop only. Again, you know it's going to be the 14th stitch that we do that because it is row 14. One, two, and three in each of the next remaining 13 stitches we're going to work one single crochet back loop only one it might be tempting to not count especially after you work the three single crochet back loop only in the top but you want to make sure that you're still kind of counting because if you miss a stitch somewhere or add a stitch in accident and you don't realize it your square will become lopsided you will probably notice when you're working one of your picot single crochet rows because it'll be like you'll your row will end on a picot or something and you'll be like what that doesn't seem right so then you'll have to take out all your work and start again and no one likes to do that this is our eighth single crochet back loop only nine ten eleven 12 and 13 chain one and turn moving on to row 15 we are going to work a single crochet back loop only into each of the first 14 stitches and in the 15th stitch we're going to work three single crochet back loop only one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And in that 15th stitch, we're going to work three single crochet back loop only. You know it's going to be the 15th stitch that we work three stitches because this is row 15. So one, two, and three. Now we should have 14 stitches remaining. We're going to work one single crochet back loop only into each of the remaining 14 stitches. One, two, and again, I said it earlier, but just to restate it, for the sides of the square, or triangle, however you want to look at it, it's kind of more of a triangle the way that we work it, because we go up two sides and then we have a peak at the top. But for the sides, 
Just take the row that you're working on and subtract one, and that is how many stitches you should have on the sides. And then again, whatever row you are working on, that stitch should be the peak where you work three stitches. I hope that all makes sense and helps you. I think this will be the last row where I have counted with you guys. I'm still going to crochet along at um, a real time speed and you guys can follow along with me, but I kind of feel like the counting is becoming redundant if it hasn't been for a long time already. So we've reached the end of that side, chain one and turn. Row 16, so we will be alternating single crochets and picots for the first 15 stitches. And in the 16th stitch, we're going to work a picot, a single crochet, and a picot. The first stitch is always a single crochet on these rows. And then a picot. a single crochet, and another picot. A single crochet, and a picot. Single crochet, Picot, single crochet, picot, single crochet, picot. Single crochet, picot, single crochet, and that should be 15 stitches there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, perfect. So in the 16th stitch, we're going to work a picot. A single crochet. And a picot all into that 16th stitch. And now again, alternating single crochets and picots in the remaining 15 stitches. So there's a single crochet, and now a picot. Single crochet, a picot, single crochet, picot, single crochet. And a picot. Single crochet. And a picot. 
And we will actually only have one more row of these picots and single crochets, and that will be the final row. Single crochet and a picot. We will have three more rows of the single crochet back loop only until we get there. If you haven't noticed, in between each row of picots and single crochets, there are three rows of single crochet back loop onlys. Picot. And single crochet in the final stitch. Chain one. And turn. For row 17, we're going to be working a single crochet back loop only into each of the first 16 stitches. Now that we've reached the 17th stitch, we're going to work three single crochet back loop onlys into that 17th stitch. Now you should have 16 stitches remaining. We're going to work one single crochet back loop only into each of those remaining 16 stitches. 16 stitches is kind of a tongue twister. We've reached the end of row 17, chain one, and turn. On to row 18, we're going to be working one single crochet back loop only into each of the first 17 stitches. And once we reach that 18th stitch, that is where we will work three single crochet back loop only.
So we've reached the 18th stitch. We're going to work three single crochet back loop only into that 18th stitch. You should have 17 stitches remaining on this side. We're going to work one single crochet back loop only into each of those remaining 17 stitches. We've reached the end of row 18, chain 1, and turn. Row 19. This will be our last row of single crochet back loop onlys. You're going to work one single crochet back loop only into each of the first 18 stitches, and then the 19th stitch, you're going to work three single crochet back loop onlys. We've reached that 19th stitch. We're going to work three single crochet back loop only into that stitch. You should have 18 stitches remaining here. We're going to work one single crochet back loop only into each of them. We've reached the end of row 19. We only have one row remaining now. This is what she's looking like. Chain one and turn. And going into that last and final row, row 20. In row 20, we're going to be alternating single crochets and picots. So we're going to alternate single crochets and picots for the first 19 stitches. In that first stitch, work a single crochet. Then a picot. Single crochet. 
Papaka. Single crochet. Papaka. Single crochet. Pacat. Single crochet. Pacat. Single crochet. Paca. Single crochet. Paca. Single crochet. Single crochet, Pacat, and one more single crochet. We've reached the top of our triangle here. We're going to work a pacot into this stitch 20, a single crochet, and a pacot all into that 20th stitch. Now you should have 19 stitches remaining. And we're going to alternate single crochets and picots in those last 19 stitches. My yarn split there. That happens sometimes. So a single crochet and then a picot. A single crochet and just keep alternating those single crochets and picots until you reach the final stitch which should be a single crochet. We reach the final stitch, which is a single crochet.
And that is the end of our motif pattern. I hope that, that was really helpful for you. I had fun stitching along with you. And if you are interested in the full boho baby blanket pattern, I will link it in the description below. It is listed in my Etsy shop.